What's up, Not Enough Knife versus JT here coming at you with another one of these crazy gift sets that did not hit the shelves thanks to the supply chain crisis. They were sitting out at Sea Guys for almost a year and now they've hit the shelves because of that. And because of that alone, I'm gonna discuss and explain to you why this is perhaps the best value probably in the last 12 months out of anything that I have brought onto this channel and discussed. And it's not inherently because of what it was set out to do, it has more to do with just the circumstance in which this package fell into. If all this sounds like something that you guys might be interested in checking out, stay tuned. I'm gonna dive right in here because there's a lot to unpack here. You get a full solid metal multi-tool kit here. Six different hex tools. There appears to be some kind of a wedge, maybe a glass breaker, I'm not sure. Number one Phillips, that's about it. I'm thinking this can serve as kind of like a multi-size flathead screwdriver and then this would be the number one Phillips. There's better tools for the job, but if you get caught in the woods and this is the only thing you have to fix your equipment, I guess it's better than nothing, right? Wow, where do I start? Let's go from the outside in, shall we? You got your fire starter here, lanyard here, seems to be pretty sturdy nylon, not really any kind of seal, but the attachment is very, very secure. You hear that click, so you position it, bang. So you got that click, very secure. It doesn't feel like it would come out with any natural force other than your own pulling it out. The sheath is something that for years we have complained about the sheaths of these value knives. This is not those kind of sheaths. Very good construction. You have a blade guide on both sides. You have these stylish slots, belt loop. I kind of like these because instead of being a one where you kind of have to thread the belt every single time when you change pants and change belts, you got to do it all over again. At least with this one, you could just literally just clip it onto your belt and go about your day. And then when you're done, literally take it off that belt and onto the next. The knife, when you put it inside the sheath, bang. That's something that you know on this channel, I talk a lot about. That reassuring click that lets you know that the knife is secure in its sheath. The blade, it's very reminiscent of a lot of knives we know now. Camila's took notes from a lot of people here. Got a lot of like Gerber-esque, Gerber Bear Grylls, survival-esque. You can see a lot of Gerber Prodigy slash strong arm here. Doesn't say anything about full tang or not. With my experience, when full tang is not mentioned, what you're getting is either partial tang to about halfway through the blade, or maybe a three quarter tang. Judging by the fact that I don't see the metal of the blade within the lanyard hole tells me that yes, this is probably a partial tang blade. Over mold design that you're used to seeing on those Gerbers that are pretty freaking amazing. You're looking at a perfect grip here. Your mileage may vary on that one. Got the jimping just like Gerber Prodigy here. Like I said, it's just a lot of things that will remind you of the Gerber Prodigy in this knife. And this knife is the highlight of this set. It's beautiful. The tan on black, they really nailed it. Grip inserts here. I'm pretty sure these T6s are just for show, even though they might have taken some pointers from somebody else. Yeah, it's still a beautiful knife. It doesn't take away from that. Of course, this is always gonna turn some people off, the serrations. I could talk about this knife for a long time, but that's pretty much it for the knife. Moving on to the shovel. Now, I, I've seen all kinds of kits where there's knives and hatchets and machetes or knives and uh, camping gear or spoons and forks cups even for camping you know scenarios i understand a lot of people use these to prepare their their shelters when they're out you ever kind of like your basic military grade shovel right out of the box you have the ability to fold it into itself like this basically you're able to adjust it to whichever orientation you want so you can have it like this kind of like as a pickaxe orientation is what i like to call it you can also loosen it and then you can have it at an angle for most of your uh, digging tasks. So it's a pretty standard locking mechanism here. There you have it guys. Looks to be, you know, pretty standard steel coated. I assume this coating would probably wear down over time, especially after you've done a little bit of digging. My overall feelings on this kit is A+. Not quite the S tier because let's, you know, at the end of the day, it is like a $40 kit. But that's what brings me to why I want to label this probably the best value in the last 12 months of the stuff that I reviewed on here, and I'll explain why. This stuff has had actually been sitting out in the ocean in container ships. All those ships that sat out for months and months on end, 
almost a year. Now is when they were hitting the stores. Now I'm not saying every Walmart is gonna have this scenario, but this particular Walmart, they had this kit for $14. That my friends is where <laughs> the value comes into play. You guys are finding these deals? Let me know because I'm interested in finding out. If you like this video and you have friends or families that love knives as much as you do guys, please let them know. We're almost halfway through 850 subs. I never thought we would even be here, but I'm just happy that I have that many people to share this amazing hobby with. And I, I wanna know what you guys have to say about this set or uh, something similar of great value you might have come across during these holidays. Thanks for visiting guys, I love you, and I'll check you out on the next video. See you later.